Hey folks, well, it's time for uh, yet another new video series, I guess guess you could call it. I'm out in the garage right now, uh, and I've got some work to do on the car. Let me uh, kind of show you what I've got, and I'll explain along the way what I need to do. So let me grab you off the tripod here. Use my new camera right now, so we'll see how the quality is. Got myself a new Canon uh, camera. Hopefully it'll have better sound and a little bit better video. There you can see the uh, Subaru. It's an 04. So you probably, are, if you've watched all my videos, you'll know. But it's an a dirty 04 Subaru WRX STI. And good car. It's got a few little uh, glitches and whatnot, but. Uh, the biggest thing I got to uh, deal with right now, let me just show you, sorry for the video, shakiness, turn on the key, turn off that, turn all this off, it's, even though it's, uh, well I guess I could start it, call me a liar because it's been parked in the garage. Yeah, it is. Oh well. You can trust me when I say the check engine lights on most of the time. And the issue lies, uh, you won't be able to see it, really. You can't see it because everything's buried. Uh, doing this one-handed, so excuse the shakiness of the video. You can see uh, that little sensor right there. It looks like a throttle position sensor. But what it is, is a tumble generator valve sensor buried down below in the in intakes here and buried down in this block down in here. There's butterflies that in the uh, air intake track that close up when the car first starts and it's for emissions and after about 20 seconds they open wide open and they're not used anymore and they're they're real pain in the butt and uh, I keep getting a check engine light for the driver's side I've changed that sensor and all that but I'm thinking maybe the motor is flaky or whatever but the biggest thing is it's a restriction in the air intake, so what a lot of guys will do is rip them out and get rid of them. Now the only problem with doing that is it's going to throw a check engine light all the time. So that's what I'm going to deal with hopefully today, at least part of it. And what I'm going to use to deal with it is this little guy right here, the Tactric. Tactrix, I guess you pronounce it, cable, plugs into your OBD2 port, and then into your computer, and you use the computer to, oh, it's called open source tuning, you can do anything you want, modify all the parameters in the, uh, in the computer of the uh, car, so, uh, you can do any of the tune, change in tuning and what have you. Don't plan on doing that right now because you're asking for trouble if you don't know what you're doing and you need extra sensors like a wideband O2 sensor and whatnot. But you can also use the software to uh, disable. I was going to say delete, but you're not really deleting. You're just disabling. Uh, Air codes, so I'm going to see if I can make sure or I can uh, disable the air code before I do anything else. By what you do is you use this software, ECU Flash, to download a copy of the uh, image file of the ECU into the uh, computer, and then you can edit it and upload the edited uh, version of uh, your file. So let's see if she'll work. All right. I've got the unit plugged in down there. You can see the lights. They kind of flash through. I'm sure they mean some stuff, but I'm not 100% sure what. You'll have to bear with me as I haven't done this before. 
got the software up and running. Now I'm not sure if you should have the software running before or after, so probably what I should do is close the software. And I think I'm going to throw you up on a tripod here to make it a little bit easier so I don't have to hold the camera and try to run the computer at the same time. Let's do that. Get the camera fairly close. And let's see, there, that looks not too bad. Probably zooming in a little bit. There we go. And I don't know if we got to do this with key on, key off, or what. But let's see, let's close this up. Actually, I gotta do. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna keep bumping the aren't I? Make shake vi shaky video. I gotta do something else here first, quick. Enable these buttons there. Make it easier to run. The touchpad on this computer is kind of crappy. Okay, take this, plug her into the USB port. Should find some hardware. There she goes. Now they recommend making sure that you got good battery or in plug never run it on battery obviously. Cause it would suck if it was downloading and uh kick off, so there we go, that's better. Not sure why it was doing a search, whatever. So driver's loaded now, you can see there. Now we will fire up the software and see if we can pull an image. And uh, get a mouse and a rig up for this. Maybe I'll. Let's just see. So now it's just a matter of read from ECU. I've got to select. The style of vehicle, which is a drive-by wire STI 2004, read. Oh, I've got to connect the ECU test connector, so i got to crawl under the dash, find these test connector, and connect it, and then try again, so hold tight, it's going to take me a while. Well, that wasn't so bad. It was pretty obvious where that test connector was. Looked under there, and there she was. So you just have to, in this particular car, you don't need a little, some of the Subaru cars, you need a little test adapter, blah, blah, blah. But luckily, this car, you don't need anything, but you can get the little test connectors from Tactrix if you need to. So let's try this again. Go to ECU, read from ECU, 04, drive-by wire STI, read, if their ignition is already on from a previous operation, press OK to continue, otherwise connect the green, turn your connect, connect the green test mode connector, which I did, turn the ignition to the on position and quickly press the OK button. So let's do the quickly turn on. Quickly. Aha! It's reading. Look at that. And what I'm going to end up doing as soon as I read this file is I'm going to make several backup copies of it before I do anything else to it. So Now, the software, you actually download the software and then you have to download the definition files for it for all the different ECUs because they do get updated quite a bit. And so you got to make sure that all that's available and ready to go before you try this. And this is try at your own risk because if you modify any settings, uh, and you could easily kill the uh, the engine in the car by changing something you shouldn't. So this is one of those at your own risk operations. So I'm going to download this to the computer and then uh, save a f 
copy of it somewhere and then uh, we will open up this file in a different program and see if we can figure out where the uh, where the uh, codes are to turn off to disable because I want to make sure I can disable the codes before I tear into the engines and pull in the engine apart because it's a little bit involved tearing a Got to take a lot of stuff off in order to get at those tumble generator valves. So that'll be a, another video up for on another day. But there we go. Turn the ignition off. I was a little concerned that maybe this car, because I bought it used, would have had the ECU tuned or something that wouldn't allow me to do this. But obviously it's it's all good. Okay, and now I got to figure out how to save this file out. Blah, blah, blah. Bear with me. File, save ROM as. There we go. We're going to put it on the desktop. Scooby. Save and there she be right there. I'm gonna make another copy of it. And we'll see if we can open it in the ROM Raider. Okay, now I got that downloaded and went and got myself a mouse and a piece of plywood. Now you can see I've already created a file here. I'm not going to lie. I already uh, played with it, but I'll show you what I did. It actually worked. I haven't uploaded the file yet, but I used this program, ECU Flash, to uh, download the ROM from the ECU. And now end up using this program called ROM Raider ECU Editor. Let's see if it's still loaded in there. This computer is a little slow, so you'll have to bear with it as it uh, opens the program. So that's the basic program. There's not much to it. Uh, it's the same as the other program where you have to upload some or install some XML files, some definition files to make it work for the different computers. So now what I do is open the image and here is the original. Here you can see the one I've already edited, but all you do is click open. And TikTok, you wait for a bit. What can I expect? It was a computer I put together from bits and pieces. Does the job for what I'm using it for though. And it's going to take a while, I guess, to parse the file and uh, pull all the information in. Yeah, uh, let's see, there you can see it. There you go. And here is all the different parameters. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but maybe I'll uh, zoom in just a little bit more. Sorry that things are crooked because I'm off to the side here. But uh, here you can see all the parameters. Here you can see I identified my computer and the... Uh, the car, 04 Subaru Impreza STI manual transmission. Now this is all the fueling and ignition and whatnot you can change, but I'm not going to be touching any of that. What I am going to do is I'm interested in the diagnostic trouble codes. And there's all your different trouble codes that can throw a check engine light. And the one ones I'm interested in are the TGV ones. So it's this one all the way down to this one. Now you can see when I click on it, it says that it's on. I want to turn it off. And same with all of these. All you do is go all the way down, turn them all off. And I'll prevent that means those check engine light codes will no longer be uh, enabled in the computer. Now I've already done it, so I'm not going to go through it all. And that's what this Scooby TGV delete bin file is. So now if I understand correctly, all I need to do is go back into ECU Flash. Come on. And then 
open a ROM. Go to my desktop. There's the TGV delete. Open. There's all the different uh, things. Current ROM metadata. I'm not sure what this. Oh, this allows you to edit as well. But I'm not interested in editing it. There's all these TGV. Not sure what. Yeah, see, it shows disabled already. Disabled. It just tells you what the value is, but you can't actually change it in. Oh, maybe you can. Huh, nah, no. I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm just going to make sure that they're all disabled. 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 So there you can see the program, the other program, edited the ROM, so these are all disabled. So now, all I need to do is, let's see, um, plug my cord in. Should have had, I'm just going to close this and reopen it since I didn't have the open port. That uh, Tactrix cable is called an open port too, by the way. I'm going to close this and reopen it. Reopen that ROM. Open ECU. Now you always want there's a test write to ECU. You always want to do that to be safe, just so it does a test run, so it know, so you know you can successfully successfully write to the computer without actually writing to the computer. So we will turn the ignition on, and there we go. It's doing a test write without actually overwriting the contents of the computer. Now I've saved my uh, in factory uh, computer file to multiple locations, so uh, keep it safe. So I'll just let this finish writing and make sure it succeeds, and then we'll do a full write. There it goes. It was. It worked. So I'm going to close the off ignition. And then I am going to go in and write to ECU. This time it's actually going to rewrite the computer, so here goes nothing. If this were to mess up, uh, it would brick my ECU and my car would be broken. So I'd say this isn't necessarily for the faint of heart. So far, so good. Successful. So now, in theory, my tumble generator valves will not throw a check engine light, and it will keep, uh, which is good, and that's the only check engine lights I've been getting. So the next step, like I say, let me get you off of here. I don't think I'm going to work on it tonight, is to tear into this because it's going to be a lot of work because I watched on YouTube and you got to tear off all this top stuff just to get at the, uh, to get at the uh, tumble generator valves which are buried in there, one on that side because this is a boxer engine and one down on that side. This one's probably going to even be more interesting to get at, but... Uh, I'll just make sure and take lots of pictures, and I can also use my video as reference as I'm, because I'm going to video it, and maybe I'll show you a time lapse of it, and uh, hopefully it's a success. So in any case, I hope you find this uh, video interesting or even possibly helpful, and next video, 
on this series will be tearing into that engine. So until then, take care and talk to you later.